Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching FC Reco. My name is Hridaya Ranjan. I hope you guys are safe at home, washing your hands regularly and using masks when you're stepping out of your home. Now in this episode of FC Reco, instead of sticking to the norm of recommending one film, we have tried to do something different where we have recommended a YouTube series, a web series and also a film from a few years ago, one from the recent past, so that there is a healthy mix of things for you to watch. The first in our series of recommendations is a YouTube series called Story Discussion made by Rohit and Shashi. Story Discussion has been on YouTube for a few years now but unfortunately it has not got enough views. But it is a terrific funny story about a maverick director called Mohan Kumar who is all set to make his next film which is a gangster movie. However, in a span of 24 hours everything goes haywire and the maverick director decides to suddenly remake Rangila or as he likes to call it, Rangila Freemik. The film then follows what happens over the course of 24 hours and is a funny story that talks about the intricacies and the idiosyncrasies that comes with filmmakers and their vision. The great thing about story discussion is that even though it is shot on a shoestring budget, the makers do not cut any corners when it comes to the technicalities. The series is produced by Tamada Media and also for something that is shot on such a small budget, it surprisingly features sync sound. The series also features fantastic quirky music by Vivek Sagar and it spans 10 episodes with each episode having an average length of about 15 to 20 minutes. The other remarkable thing about story discussion is the acting because it does not feature any known faces and it features faces that you would see every day around you. But the better part of everything is that you can see much of the acting is improv. Like you can see that they had a script to stick to, but the director never forced the actors to stay within the script. And that is why the actors are all going improv. I really liked story discussion and I recommend that you should watch it. The next on our recommendation is a 2003 film called Aite, directed by Chandrasekhar Yeleti. Aite tells the story of a Dubai based gangster Irfan Khan, played by Pawan Malhotra who is planning to hijack a plane so that he can escape as he is being tracked down by Indian intelligence authorities. So his plan is that he will hijack a plane to Kathmandu and from there he will escape. However, for this plan he has planned to employ four youngsters. But the plan gets botched and what happens after that is the story of the film. Now I can't reveal what happens much after that because I would be revealing most of the storyline. But the thing about Aite is that it was the debut film of director Chandrasekhar Yeleti who went on to create an impressive body of work over the years. We use this term screenplay based film quite loosely but Aite is a classic example of a film that is based completely on the screenplay. It is very quick and there are no loopholes or there are no diversions or distractions. The other thing about Aite is that it released in 2003 and even then it just featured one song which is quite a rarity for films that was releasing at that time. Now like story discussion this was also shot on a low budget and it featured newcomers like Shashank and Sindhu Tolani. The film was also produced by Just Yellow Productions, a production house that has made other uh, little unknown gems like Little Soldiers and uh, Anuko Kunda Okaroju which is quite well known and the TV series Amritam. Aite won the national award for best Telugu film for 2003 and it is one film that we recommend you watch during this lockdown. The third in our recommendation is a web series called Kottaporodu written by, directed by and starring Anvesh Michael. This series tells the story of Raju who lives in a village in Telangana and his father owes a lot of money to the people of the village. When his father dies, the people of the village gang up against Raju and ask him to repay all the debts. Raju challenges them that he will repay all the money in a span of one year. And for that, he comes to Hyderabad and he starts to sell clothes on the street. During that time, a director spots him and decides to cast him as the lead in a movie that he's going to make. Raju finds this as a good opportunity to repay the money and agrees to sign on as the lead of the film. What follows is an exploration of the question, who really is a hero? Now, the first thing about the series that strikes you is that the editing is top notch. It is done by Rohit Penumatsa, who is one half of the Shashi and Rohit combo. 
he keeps things spacey and ensures that the series does not commit one of the biggest mistake that web series generally commit which is of being indulgent the other thing about the series is that it features raw rustic telangana accents and flavor we have seen films in the recent past like pelli chupulu or arjun reddy that have had a telangana accent but they were mostly an urban telangana accent this series for the first time features a very raw and rustic flavor the music by smaran is also impressive but the most impressive part of the series are these characters that have been created like mallesh or uh, begum pet sukanya or neti rajesh you can watch kottaporodu on aha the streaming platform our final recommendation is a small film called ever ki cheppoddu which unfortunately we could not review when it released but we watched it later and we really liked it the film is written and directed by basava shankar and stars rakesh varri and garge yellow pragada as the leads it is a typical romcom where uh, two young people fall in love but cast comes in their way and now they have to find a way to convince the girl's father who is a hardcore castist to let them get married this film is also made on a low budget but it is never pretentious nor is it trying to hide its budget instead it chooses to focus on its strengths which are the story and its dialogues the film also deals with cast but it does it very beautifully because generally when we depict cast in our movies we do it in a very stereotypical fashion the other problematic aspect of our depiction of cast is that we use terms like higher cast and lower cast which if you think about it is also acknowledgement of the hierarchy of castes but this is where the film has a master stroke in the sense that it does not even depict it does not even name the cast of the leads what it has instead is a beautiful scene where the two leads write down their castes on a sheet of paper and they exchange it and it is not even mentioned what cast they belong to in that way the film is really progressive the film also has impressive performances by the heroine and the actor who plays her father vamshi raj the film is available on netflix please go and watch ever ki cheppoddu and if you like it please andar ki cheppandi those were our recommendations we hope you enjoy watching these films and please let us know in the comment section what you thought of our recommendations thank you stay safe wash your hands and please wear a mask when you step out of the house we will see you again in the next video